dinners. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut up our red potatoes. I got these from the local store, little small potatoes. We're going to cut them up. We're going to try to get those in the oven. We're going to try. We're going to get those in the oven right away. So because they, you know, potatoes take a little bit longer than fish will. So we're going to cut the potatoes up. And then I'm going to show you guys the seasonings and all the kind of seasons that I put on top of the potatoes so they can be yummy. And then we're going to work on the fish and how to, um, not the fish, I'm sorry, tilapia. And then we're going to put the seasonings on there. And I like to put a lemon and also lime juice so it can take the fishy smell away so my house won't be smelling like fish. Ooh, don't nobody like that smell. So... Let's get started. Welcome back. All right, let's start with these potatoes. I'm gonna cut these ones up. <laughs> Ooh, me and knives, I'm telling you. Koya's death gonna be knives. These knives. Something else. So we're gonna cut these little small, they really nice and small, see? And we're just gonna cut them in the middle, just like this. So they should just look like this. And once they get, when you get them like that, you just gonna, you're gonna put, uh, wait one second, let me grab them. So we're gonna put the potatoes in here once we get done cutting them up. So I'm gonna cut up all of these potatoes and I'm gonna come back to you guys with um, how I prepare the potatoes. All right, now that we got the potatoes cut up, just cut them straight down the middle, that's all. And now we're going to work on preparing them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab, y'all know this is my favorite, favorite skillet, pan, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna put some olive oil on this, on the top. All the seasonings and the things that I use will be in the description box below, of course. And we're gonna just put it all over like that. And we're gonna put it, make sure you use your, use your fingers. Let's use your fingers to make sure it's all over because they're going to be baking in this, in the oven. No top stove today. Let me get a nap. Once it's like this, guys, you want to put the um, <clears throat> you want to put the potatoes on top, just like this. Just spread them out. Make sure all of them got some room. Spread them out. These are not going to take as long as if they were like bigger potatoes, but it's still going to take about twenty minutes to cook, and you're going to be flipping them over to make sure that this side. It's caramelized and the whole potato is well done. So now let's work on what I put on the top of my potato. So we're gonna put that to the side right quick. So the first thing here is my little small cup. We're gonna put some seasonings in there. The first seasonings we're going to put in is <clears throat> we're gonna put thyme, just a little bit of thyme. I will put some measurements at the um, in the description, but you guys know I don't like to measure my my seasonings. So thyme, parsley, 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 parsley. I'm gonna put some in here like that. We're going to put some Italian seasoning. a little bit and we're going to put some salt of course and pepper let me get 
Uh, this is what we're going to use today. Compromise. I'm gonna put that in. Just like that. That should be enough. If you need more, if you need more, put more. Put some olive oil on top. And then I didn't grab a spoon. I don't know what's up with me today. Let me grab my stuff. And you're gonna mix it all up just like this. Put some more. I want to make sure it's easier, easy to put on top of the potatoes. Mix it up just like this. Mix it all up. Then you want to bring your potatoes back over here. And you're going to just put them all over like this. Just put them all on the potatoes. If you need more, just keep on making it. Your oven is um, heated to 350 before you put these potatoes in. And we're going to cook them, like I said, for uh, 15 to 30 minutes. But you're going to be constantly checking on them to make sure that they don't, of course, burn. They need to look like this. I hope you guys can see like this all right guys so it's time to work on our tilapia so this is the tilapia we got it at the local store make sure it was unthawed or you can get fresh tilapia it's totally up to you what you want to do so the first thing we're going to do is cut up our lemon and just cut up slices you just want to make slices that's awesome to put it on top Um, well, since I only have four tilapias, I'm only going to cut up four, but how many ever tilapias you use or make with this dish, you can cut them up as well, as many lemons. Alright, so I'm going to, this is our lemon slices, get those right there. So we're going to start with the sauce or, or whatever season I'm going to put on top of the tilapia. So this is some Heated butter, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in a small cup. Once again, the measurements and um, the ingredients for how I season my tilapia will be in my description box below. All right, so now we have our butter. I'm gonna put it right here so you have to see everything I'm putting in here. So we got garlic powder. We got Mrs. Dash, but this is the garlic and herb. We're gonna put some of that inside of here. Not a lot. And then we're going to put some crushed red peppers, just a little bit, just for a little heat, just a little heat. Who don't like a little heat? Baby don't like a little heat, but we might have a little heat tonight. All right, so we're gonna put that. And then you want to put some Italian seasoning as well. Now we want to mix this up. Like this. should look like a whole bunch of seasonings and butter and all that good stuff so once we get done mixing everything up pick that up we're gonna just pour it on top of our tilapia this is a baked tilapia recipe so I'm putting it in just like that so should look buttery like this. I don't think you guys can really see it, but it should look buttery and a spice and like a butter base. And then we're going to put it on our pan. It's probably best that we did it on our pan, but I wanted you guys to see it. So I'm going to just transfer it on just like this. You can pick it up. It's not gonna hurt you or kill you. Just gonna pick it up. In our pan. We're gonna put our sauces that's on this plate right back on our tilapia because this is not a game and we didn't waste nothing. 
gonna do just like this. And then we're gonna just grab our sauces because I told y'all we weren't wasting nothing. We is not wasting nothing. You guys can see my plate, but let me got you this plate today. And it says another lovely day. I don't think I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come to y'all so y'all can see this. Another lovely day. So y'all see those sauces on here? Yes. Thank you, lovey. So, all right. So we're going to mix that up. It should look like that. Or look, look like that. All right. So then we're gonna put this inside the oven. Like I said, you can wait, it's totally up to you. You can wait until 10 minutes while your potatoes has been baking. Then put this in, cause you don't wanna have cold tilapia. You wanna make sure everything is nice and hot. You can wait or you can just put it in, it's totally up to you. But I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then put my tilapia in. I got um, about four more minutes to go. Then we'll put the salami in because it needs to bake for 11 to 13 minutes. The slices will go on like so, just like this on the top. And then I like to squeeze lime juice on here so it won't be fish. I'm gonna come back to you guys when both of them are complete. We're gonna play together and we're gonna try it together. So, like this. Should be looking like this, guys. So now we're just gonna add some more butter. We're just gonna put some on top. Don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared. So we're gonna put these back in the oven and when everything is completely done, I'll be back. Potatoes. And this is the tilapia. I told you I was gonna find some type of vegetables in this house. So we're gonna plate together. So let's first start with the potatoes. Let me put this min up, because this is pretty hot. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. And then, this tilapia though look how it turned out y'all yes we cooking for our kings and queens yes so you can put two i'll put two down so y'all can really see really see what's going on so y'all can really what so y'all can really see what's going on yeah i just want to pick them up and just eat them they so good Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we in the kitchen. Oh yeah, we making, we making food. Stick to the bone food. So this is it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Ooh. So don't forget to like, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. The description box will have all the ingredients to this recipe.